Parliament to be prorogued effective Wednesday. Details to this story and more in the National Report. With the National Report, I am Leslie Ann Johnson Cornwall. The fourth session of the Ninth Parliament of Grenada will be prorogued with effect from Wednesday, 30th November. The prorogation will be done by Her Excellency the Governor General, Dame Cecile Lagrenade, by a proclamation dated 24th November 2016. And the Minister of Finance and Energy, Dr. The Right Honorable Keith Mitchell, will present the 2017 budget on Friday, December 9th at the Grenada Trade Center, commencing at 10 o'clock. The theme for the budget, working together to build on our successes for a better country. The theme captures the strong macroeconomic foundation built through the collective sacrifices and resilience of citizens and also speaks to working together to protect the gains made in the last few years. During his presentation, Dr. Mitchell will highlight the major achievements of government for 2016 and that of the three-year homegrown structural adjustment program. He will also detail government's plans and programs for 2017 and beyond. An explosion of culture as flags, drums, folk songs and pure excitement accompany the grand welcome of Prince Harry to the Queen's Park grounds on Monday. His Royal Highness paid a courtesy visit to Grenada as part of his 2016 tour of the Caribbean. The second item on his to-do list after his official arrival and welcome at the Grenada Cruise Sport was a community sporting event that had him showing off his skills in cricket. The mini sports meet featured some of Grenada's popular sports, cricket, football and netball, which gave the Prince the opportunity to meet and interact with team members and coaches who presented him with tokens to remind him of his historic visit to the Spice Isle. Excited onlookers expressed their delight at seeing the prince in person. My name is Kina. I felt excited about getting to see the prince. My name is Kaylin Mathomalu and I felt good that he came to speak to us. My name is Lindsay and I am I was very excited when I saw him. It's been an utmost pleasure to showcase this wonderful festivity for the Prince and the world at large. Anytime, any place, anyway, we are pleased to present ourselves. This is the National Report. More news after the break. Grenada is riding the waves of an economic comeback, high growth projections, unemployment on the decline and a series of projects moving into high gear. Now, with confidence in the local economy high, once again, Prime Minister and Minister of Finance Dr. The Right Honorable Keith Mitchell presents Budget 2017, Friday, December 9 at the Trade Center. Here, the review and the preview of a government still hard at work even as it approaches four years in office. Unpaid claims at its lowest ever in years. Record revenues from VAT, customs and inland revenue. Massive growth in tourism with an expanding yachting sector. Bye-bye measles and rubella, eliminating diseases through vaccination. That is the theme under which the 32nd EPI Managers Meeting is being held in Grenada. The meeting brought together representatives from other regional countries aimed at protecting children and their families from vaccine-preventable diseases. Speaking at the opening ceremony, Chief Medical Officer Dr. George Mitchell said the immunization process in Grenada has made tremendous strides. He said more than 20 vaccines have been developed over a period of time to help in the eradication of such diseases as rubella, polio and measles. The immunization program in Grenada has also made tremendous strides. Our initial program provided coverage against four diseases. Our national schedule now caters for protection against 10 communicable diseases, and plans are afoot to introduce others in the very near future. Dr. Ruiz Matas, PAHO's representative, spoke of some of the challenges still faced, noting that a more comprehensive approach with other programs needs to be given priority. He says the greatest challenge, however, is to maintain the achievements already attained. But at the same time, we have challengers to advance in the introduction of new vaccines. HPV is one of these vaccines. But at the same time, we have the challenge to maintain high coverage with IPV or the bivalent OPV. No, and, and other vaccines that are coming for this. Now we are going to in the discussion of dengue vaccine. We are waiting the advance in the Zika uh, vaccine. 
but we need to be ready for this. At the same time, we have challenges for new technologies for this. And that's the National Report. I'm Leslie Ann Johnson, Cornwall.